All right, today we're gonna wrap up VG10. Tested VG10. I was curious how it did. I'd used it here and there over the years, but never, never to uh, the extent of testing or anything like that. I tested it. I think it ended up doing very well for being an older stainless steel. I mean, you know, we have to think too. 10, 15 years ago, VG10 was still, you know, was still premium steel. A lot of these other steels, they just hadn't gained the popularity that they have now for use in knives. So, VG10, I didn't exactly know what to expect. I did a little bit of research on it, found, I mean, an overwhelming amount of things that would make anyone who didn't know think that VG10 was just a horrible choice for a knife steel. So, before we continue talking about it, and it's not going to be a lot of footage, we are going to roll some footage in of the validation test to back up the last test I did on this and then we'll go ahead and do our conclusion talk so we're gonna roll that in right now you'll see a little bit of fine edge we'll cut some paper do a little bit of working edge maybe total of 30 seconds or so try to keep it short and we'll come back and talk about it Okay, this is validation testing for test number three to make sure that we reach the maximum attainable performance from the Spyderco VG10. This is edge number four, and we're going to go ahead and get started and do some cuts right now. Okay, validation testing, working edge, Okay, so, oh, we had that footage in there. Our validation test for test three, so this would have been edge four to validate edge three. We picked up a few feet on fine edge. We broke 70 feet, and working edge stayed virtually the same. It was within half a percent. And there's a Gius again. I'm telling you, he just loves to be in in these videos so just like we're finding out with all kinds of different steels here lately and we're not going to bring any particular ones up to talk at length with but if you want to see some good recent tests go and look at Tom Hosang outdoors he just did a test within the past couple days and not surprising results because if you go look at what Steve got for the same steel over at Super Steel Steve, it is within 10%. So I've kind of had to take a different approach to some of these steels just because you're reading all kinds of negative things about them or people don't like them for whatever particular reason they decide they don't like a steel doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. 
when I initially read what I did about VG10, I wasn't I wasn't super happy. I only have a few knives in VG10. But it performs well. I happened to get this one in a trade and it ended up costing me no money. It ended up being free by the time I was done trading. Keep an open mind when you look at some of these things. I was going to use the FH-31 as the first knife for the Bringing It Back series, but I'm going to go ahead and do VG-10 instead because I know VG-10 responds very well to stropping. So what we're going to do is, like I said in my other video, we're going to go ahead and I tape them off in the same exact place every time and not only that you can you can feel where the test area is compared to the fresh portions of the edge we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mark the steel with tape up here so that I can actually strop the edge and then we'll stay within our one inch section and then we're gonna cut some more cardboard and see how many more feet we get out of it before we have to strop it again and then we'll cut some more and we'll strop it again and we'll cut some more and so on until we're left with an edge that we can't strop back now like I've mentioned once before at least you have to keep in mind the testing that we do only takes place in a one inch section of blade so you're only using one inch now, what does that mean in theory? And I say in theory because I haven't actually put it to the test, but if one inch of VG10 will cut 162 feet on a working edge, and you multiply that times the three and a half inches of cutting edge that you have here, then you should in theory get three and a half times the amount of work done before you have to hit this on the strop. So that's what we're going to explore and find out. I strop my knives. I, you know, I know from use the steels that I like to use and that I commonly do use on a daily basis. Um, they take a certain amount of time before I have to strop them. And then a certain amount of time before I have to sharpen them again. So that's what we're going to do with this. So we can find out what kind of actual service life you're going to get out of different steels. And we're going to start with VG10. So that's all I have for this one. Give some of these steels a try that you read about and come away thinking that they may not be so good because... We're coming to find out that some of the steels that people want, want, want are not so good. And the ones that people talk bad about are way better than what they actually are. But that's all I have for this one. That wraps up the test for this. As always, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.